Okay guys, this is Kia from Petals Bath Boutique. I'm back with my next cutting video here. And um, this one is Beguile. And this is my second time doing this type of scent. It's um, a coffee, kind of coffee cocoa blend of some marshmallow. It's really yummy. Um, now I did change the scent up from the last time that I did it. And I really do believe that this one is for the better. Um, there are certain scents. These are all gonna. This is gonna turn dark. Right now, it's gonna be yellow. But anyway, certain scents that are very difficult for um, soapers to get like a true scent. Like one is coconut. It may smell amazing in the bottle, but once you get into your soap, or you know, a few days into your cure, the scent fades or it morphs or changes to something else. Well, coffee is another one of those scents that may smell really good out of the bottle and then once you get it into your product it kind of morphs or changes or fades or whatever and this particular blend I'm very happy with very happy with this one so hopefully we have a winner this time and I did um, um, what I find with coffee if you know it's, it's a lot easier if you don't use it straight if you try to blend it with something else to um, help it stick better. So we'll see. And I got a different marshmallow than the one that I normally use. This one had really good um, reviews. So we'll see how that turns out. It's like you smell coffee, you smell caramel. It's like coffee, caramel, marshmallow, and hot cocoa. Chocolate's another one that's been difficult for me. It'll say it's one type of chocolate, and it'll smell like that when I first sniff it, but once it goes in the soap, it seems to change. But so far, so good with this one. I really like it. It's really yummy. And the coffee's not overpowering. I just did a white swirl in here. I decided to keep it, you know, pretty simple. We'll see how this looks once it contrasts. I have some pictures uh, at the end of the video. Don't know when that'll be. We have not had a sunny day. I don't know. I would say since, what, Christmas was the last time we had sun? Since Christmas, and it's January the 2nd. It's been cloudy, overcast days, and today they're calling for snow. And I need natural sunlight to take my photographs, so. Don't know when I'll have pictures, so I don't know when the video will be up. Yeah, it's difficult to really appreciate the swirls, which I'm very happy with. Because you can't really see the contrast. With this light colored. Like as soon as the fragrance oil hit the batter, soap batter, it immediately turned like this neon yellow. So it should turn like really dark brown. I did a pretty deep texture on the top, so the top isn't just white. It should pull the texture should have the texture ring should have pulled some of the darkness up into the top as well. So I'm curious to see how that looks once everything turns dark. I'm going to be one bar short on this batch because the um, freezer paper kind of got a little wonky on the end, so I had to cut that off. 
Bar. All right, there you go. So I'll get this cleaned up and I'll have the next cutting video. Bye bye.